Well, even in the midst of a growing insurgency, it appears that there is a political rift between Nigeria's president, good luck, Jonathan, and some of the country's governors. Only 20 of Nigeria's 36 governors showed up at a security meeting Thursday, prompting the president to postpone the meeting because the turnout was poor. And this has led to speculation that some governors who may be in the opposition do not appreciate his handling of the situation. Well, meanwhile, young Nigerians who took part in a flawed immigration exercise that killed 23 and injured hundreds due to a stampede are now demanding compensation from the Nigerian government. The unemployed youth who sustained various forms of injuries say they had been promised automatic employment, but that the Nigerian government is yet to fulfill its promise. I imagine a crowd that came there that day, the capacity of that stadium is 65,000. And people that were there were more than 65,000. And how would you expect somebody to pass through a small gate to that place? The first person that died, the girl, died right before me. I was only screaming for help. This is about a generational struggle um, championed by young people who want to reclaim destiny. This country belongs to us all and people should be held accountable. We must respect the dignity of the human person. And that's what this public hearing is, is it's about. This is amongst one of the series of activities after this public hearing would have gathered facts and we will send them to the president, we will send them to the speaker and the Senate president to say, this is what those who you do not have access to are actually saying. And then we will take up legal, legal actions in court to enforce the rights and hold government accountable.